And so for you to manifest, you have to build up, build up in prayer. Because there is a place you pray to where there are coals of fire. That's where your tongue will be touched. And if your tongue is taught, it will be poured. When you come back, you can become a prophet. This is where men will truly be free. You know, there, is, there are two ways of assessing liberty. The Bible said, he who the son of man sets free is free indeed. You are set free when you are delivered from circumstantial limitations and impediment. But there is a higher type of liberty. It said, thou shalt know the truth and the truth shall make you free. There's a difference between being set free and being made free. I am set free if I am hungry and somebody gives me money. I am set free if I am hungry and somebody prays for me, I am healed. I am set free if I'm limited and somebody opens the door and I enter. But you see that dimension of freedom makes you dependent on the one who delivered you. But when you are made free, you become victory in motion. When you are made free, you become an answer in motion. So God is not just out to set us free. He is also out to make us free. You need external power to be set free. But you need knowledge to be made free. Because when you are made free, you become the answer that the world is looking for. And so we must come to that point where people are beginning to be made. So that when we gather, our gathering becomes a convergence of the different dimensions of Christ. This is the body in the heart of God. This is the central emphasis of Christianity. And this is why the Jesus project was instituted in the Godhead. You know, God was invincible. God was unreachable. God was not accessible. In fact, if you approached him, you would die. In 1 Timothy 6, 16, see the way the Bible described God's dwelling. It said, who only had immortality dwelling in light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man had seen, nor can see. <laughs> he is unapproachable. He has not been seen. He cannot be seen. This was God's situation. To whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. But this was not his desire. He wants to be seen. He wants to be approached. He wants to be interacted with. And so God decided to embark on a project of making himself tangible, seeable, and touchable. And so for you to manifest, you have to build up, build up in prayer. Because there is a place you pray to where there are coals of fire. That's where your tongue will be touched. And if your tongue is taught, it will be purged. When you come back, you can become a prophet.